I'm Melissa Carnegie with Sex Positive Families. I'm a licensed social worker, sexuality educator, and a parent of three amazing young people ages 6, 10, and 21. I've partnered with Amaze to share the tips, strategies, and resources that take the awkwardness out of talking to children about sexually explicit media and online porn. In the previous video, we explored why it's so important to have these conversations with kids. In this video, let's dive into when's the best time to start the talks and how to have them confidently. Before starting the talks, it's good to know where you stand in your own comfort levels with sexuality and sexually explicit media. Contrary to popular belief, sexuality is not just about hormones and sex. It's actually a central aspect of being human that influences how we feel about our bodies, our identities, sexual orientation, sexual feelings, and how we relate to others. Understanding this can help us to see that talking to kids about porn fits right in to conversations about sexual health in general, which should happen early and often. Though there's not one specific age, there are five key milestones that indicate when it might be a good time to start talking to a child more intentionally about sex and pornography. The first is if a child uses smartphones, devices, or internet access without adult supervision. This can create an easy access point for unintentional or intentional exposure to online porn. You can minimize this by becoming familiar with the devices that you give to a child, by setting up parental controls, and by working with the child to establish agreements for safer device usage. Second, if a child attends school, childcare, or playdates outside of the home, this is another key moment when talking about porn becomes useful. Children can easily experience sexually explicit media or messaging in other environments with different levels of supervision or with varying values, whether you trust them or not. Maintaining open communication with the adults and caregivers can ensure that you stay connected and responsive if a situation arises. Third, if a child consumes mainstream media, then it's absolutely a great time to talk with them about porn and sexually explicit content. The television shows, online videos, movies, music, and books that children can encounter all can send more sexually suggestive and inequitable messages over time about gender, bodies, violence, and sex than a single exposure to porn might. By discussing sexualized content, you're fostering media literacy skills that helps them develop a critical lens. This makes them less vulnerable if they were to encounter unsafe content. Fourth, if a child has tweens or teens that they regularly spend time with, it can be likely that younger children can see or hear things that they're not truly prepared to understand. When adults maintain open talks with children about sexual health, they create a safety net where young people feel comfortable speaking up if anything concerning or confusing occurs in the company of others. And finally, if a young person is asking questions related to bodies and sex, the opportunity is there to teach them about sexual content they could stumble upon online or in media. This prepares them relevant to their curiosities and makes it clear that you are a trusted adult they can turn to for information and shame-free support. These conversations might feel uncomfortable to you both at first. That's totally normal. Try to keep your body language and tone relaxed and open. Ask yourself, what do I want my child walking away understanding and feeling after these talks? What might my child need from me in order to feel safe opening up about this? The goal is not just to say the right things, it's to create a space for trust and connection. 
The talk is a chance to prepare your child for informed and safer decisions while using devices and accessing media. In a best case scenario, we can have talks with kids before they're exposed to online porn. That's not always the case. In a situation where a young person is seeking out sexually explicit media, it's important that caring adults see this as an opportunity, not a threat. Approach the child with openness and compassion, speaking in a way that avoids lecturing, judging, or making the child feel like they're in trouble. Try not to lead with assumptions about why they searched or what they saw, but instead use open-ended questions to understand more and to listen to what they think and feel about pornography. Be candid about your concerns and use the talks as an opportunity to share facts and values. And if you learn that a child has been exposed to porn by a non-peer or an adult, take the proper steps to ensure the child's safety and that appropriate accountability measures are in place. These talks are an opportunity to help young people feel clear about who the trusted adults and sources are for answers about bodies, consent, relationships, and sex. By approaching the topic of online porn with a goal of mentoring, not simply monitoring, we keep the talks an open door conversation, not an interrogation. This makes a young person more likely to come to us if they have questions or need support. In the next video, I'll be answering frequently asked questions from the Amaze Parents community and sharing top resources to support the talks with kids about online porn and sexually explicit media.